in which they get to learn and perform at will moment. The University of Pakistan, through its newly established College of Information and Communication Technologies, is in the process of establishing an ICT incubator which will operate under the new Judaism Information Technology Center. The idea of establishing the ICT incubator was conserved a long time ago, but the actual implementation started in 2009 when the government of Finland, through her foreign ministry, agreed to support the established collaboration between Information Processing Association, temporary regional <coughs> and the UDism by providing technical support in a number of ICT projects which were already conceived at UDism. The support was under the ICT Technical Support Project, funded by the Foreign Ministry of Finland. Among the supported ICT projects was the software incubator. Among the key targets of the ICT Technical Support Project were the transfer of ICT competencies, building ICT capacity, support UDism graduating students in utilizing local business opportunities, support to create local software development business, support to introduce mobile software development in new using technical curriculum. Guests of color. The support started by involving Judaism staff, undergraduate students, and technical staff from Finland by conducting a number of trainings. Due to high penetration of mobile phones, there is a booming market for mobile applications. Due to the recent technological advances in mobile phones, computational power, mobile phones can be effectively used if applications can be developed to address existing problems. The mobile applications have therefore brought another dimension software development which has the potential for establishing projects in line with the objectives of the ICT incubator to be established. Having recognized the potential of mobile software development has been linked with the ICT incubator. Mobile software development training was conducted as part of the Finnish ICT technical support projects to UDism. The training was conducted by experts from TAM, University of Applied Science, Temporary University of Food Technology, and Nokia Company of Finland. Guest of honor, in order to build the local capacity in ICT incubation, training was conducted under the ICT technical support project. To UDism staff and students, the ICT incubator Coaching training was conducted as a crash program aimed at equipping the incubator coaches with the necessary skills to not only coaches with the team. The training also involved a number of undergraduate students who had project ideas that could be incubated. I'm one of the five graduate incubators who got the initial training from the Buddhism ICT incubator. Four graduate incubators from UDism have been trained in Finland and also had the opportunity to visit the incubator initiatives. I'm happy to mention that this, these discussions have started from Demola collaboration to be extended to UDism. We hope the collaboration will help our incubators develop initiatives, ideas, providing coaching aid for incubators to realize their innovations providing necessary training, especially entrepreneurship, to incubators, help incubators in establishing startups, linking incubators with the potential customers through events, meetings, and the other ones. The main achievement from the ICT technical support project is in the building of the local human capacity to start and run ICT. Yes, of course. The University of Dar es Salaam, through the College of Information and Communication Technology, produces more than 200 graduates from ICT-related degree programs. During the year studies, graduates have to work on ICT-related projects as part of their training. Most of them have very good project idea which can be incubated to produce marketable products. The UDism have a good source of project idea which, if properly kept, can be a good input to the ICT incubator. Therefore, ICT incubator can be used to facilitate self-employment, especially now when the nation is facing acute shortage of employment opportunities in many organizations. Much has been said about how ICT can be used to produce poverty, improve life and empower people. Therefore, the nation has a lot to gain out of the student ICT setup. Get to final. Despite the progress made so far, there are challenges faced in the establishment of the UDC. The main challenge is availability of financial support, 
to student, especially after they, after they finish their studies. The focus is to make use of the good and potential project ideas generated by students through their project work, provide the required support through the ICT incubator to graduate after they finish their studies so that their project ideas can be hands. Yes, to panel. The launching of the Technohama Business Incubator and Transit is another opportunity for us to explore and we are happy and delighted to be associated with, the, with these initiatives. Therefore, we thank Coste and all other organizers for the special invitation extended to us to participate in this great event of official launching of Transit and DGBI. Yamari, Baba Zambu, Mama Zambu, Dada Nakaka, Tudasubutu, Tutaweza, na Tutazidi Kusonga Mbele. That is to say, we, we there, we can, and we move forward. Thank you very much.